Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We will definitely test you. If you look at the wording of that verse in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, We will definitely indeed, very, very confirmed and stressed. When I say stressed, I mean Allah has actually said it in a very strong way. He has given it great significance. He says, We will definitely test you. With what? Number one test, fear, al-khawf, what type of fear? Not necessarily one type of fear, all types of fear. You're worried about your health, you're worried about your food, you're worried about your drink, you're worried about your safety, you're worried about security, you're worried about the enemy, you're worried about animals, you're worried about electricity, you're worried about water, you're worried about eco-cash, you're worried about everything else. Allah says we will test you, it's a worry, it's a concern. It's definitely a worry in this country, we're going through difficulty, but I want to let you know, it's not the only country. The most developed countries at this juncture are going through great challenges, huge challenges of a different nature. Subhanallah. Allah says, we will test you with fear. What are you worried about? Someone asks you, what's your greatest fear? You have a long list of things to say. I'm worried about this, that. How long have you been worried for? I promise you the last 20, 30 years, right? Who carried you along? Allah. He carried you along. I promise you, you are in a better condition today than you were in the past. And we're still worried. Subhanallah. When we, when we had nothing, we were worried. Now we've got something, we are more worried. <laughs> Why is it? Because the reliance is now on what we have, no longer on Allah. That's where the problem is. You see what we're saying? Rely on Allah. Allah says, don't worry. You don't have the, the morsel, the next morsel, we will give it to you. But that test of Allah is supposed to be bringing you closer to Allah. He tells you in Surah Al-Baqarah, he didn't even say it later on in the Quran, right at the beginning, Surah Al-Baqarah. He's saying, we're going to test all of you, every one of you with what? Bishay'in min al-khawf, with a little bit of fear. You'll be scared sometimes. I explain to you all sorts of different types of fear. Well, jua and hunger. You can understand that on your own hunger. Sometimes you will be hungry. Sometimes there may not be food. Sometimes there will be famine. Sometimes there might be money and no food. And sometimes there will be food and no money. And sometimes there will be neither food nor money. That's Allah. Subhanallah. Al-Jua. Wal-Khawf. Al-Khawfi wal-Jua. Wa naqsin min al-Amwal. You will suffer loss. When you suffer loss, do you say Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. Allah says you will suffer loss of wealth. Naqsin min al-amwal, your money, boom, suddenly one day someone stole it, there was a fire, there was a robbery, there was an earthquake, there was, what's all this about? Allah says, that's the whole reason why we sent you onto the earth. Man, don't be fooled. You know, people say you came onto the earth, just enjoy. And when you have a lot of money and a nice house and everything is smooth, it means Allah is happy with you. Not at all. No ways. Allah says, we need to test you. Look at your school, your school to start with. How many of us are educated here? We'll put up our hands, all of us. Even the little ones will say, we go to school. What's school all about? Exams, tests. Do they become easier or more difficult? They become much more difficult as you become closer and closer, higher and higher to the, you know, to the end. Much more difficult. You're writing O level. You can't take a kid and put them right up there because you know that's going to be a difficult exam. But when you go through it, what do you say? You come out of the paper and you say, Alhamdulillah, it was easy. MashaAllah. Thank Allah, it could have been worse.